So when a user interacts with your app, it's sometimes necessary to know when this happens. So it could be a click, a hover, or a keyboard action. These are all events that you can use to call component logic within Angular. So that's what Angular event binding is all about. It's a one-way data binding in that it sends information from the view to the component class. And this is opposite from property binding, where data is sent from the component to the view. So in this tutorial, let's go ahead and take a closer look at event binding and how it all works. So first, whenever you wish to capture an event from the view, you do so by wrapping the event in question with parentheses. So Angular provides you with a variety of events from which you can call component logic. So if you head on over to the link here, you'll see it the MDN, which is the Mozilla Developer Network site. We have an event reference page. And these are events that we can hook in using event binding from Angular. And as you can see, there's a lot, and it's all structured into different categories. So we have even clipboard events. So if somebody, you know, they hit control C uh, for copy, we can call a method in our component class and make it do something. Uh, we have a ton of different mouse events, such as mouse enter, mouse over, mouse up click, double click even. So it gives you a lot of power in terms of creating uh, event binding and calling methods in your Angular app. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this all a shot in our own project. So I'm just gonna continue from the previous lesson in this free course. And I basically, I gutted out um, everything in the template and also everything in the class here. So let's go ahead and create a basic simple button element. So we'll do button. And as we can see, we have uh, these parentheses and the type of event we're going to specify is a simple click event. All right, so equals, we're gonna bind this to a method. We'll just call this my event. And then we'll also pass in, and this is optional by the way, an event variable that will pass along a lot of different information about this event to our component class and to our method essentially. So let's just call this my button. All right, and then inside of our component class, we'll create my event. And here inside of it, we'll just put console log and then event. So let's save this. All right, I and mean, we could see I've used ng-serve to get our development server up here at localhost 4200. I'm gonna hit control shift I just to get out the console. And we click on the button and there we go. So now it provides us with this object with all these different properties uh, that obviously you can feel free to experiment with all these however you wish and sometimes you will need access to this information. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a different type of event to see if this same information here fires. So let's try changing this here to mouse enter, which is one of the events that is ascribed at the MDN page that we just looked at. Come back here to our project. So now mouse enters and there we go. Okay, that is all event binding is. You're calling component methods based on user initiated actions. So feel free to experiment with more events on your own time. So in the next section of this course, we're going to get started with styling in Angular. I'll see you then.